Hi, my name is Chris Mixon, and I'm auditioning for the role of Justice Shallow. He is the wiser man, Master Doctor. He is a curer of souls, and you a curer of bodies. If you should fight, oh, uh, you go against the hair of your professions. Is not so, Master Page. Master Shallow, you have yourself been a great fighter, oh. though now a man of peace. Oh, 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 bodykins, Master Page, though I am now old and of the peace. Oh, if I see a sword out, <laughs> my finger itches to make one, <laughs> though we are justices and doctors and churchmen. Oh, we have some salt of our youth in us. We are the sons of women, Master Page. Tis true, Master Shallow. It shall be found so, Master Page. <laughs> uh, now, Master Dr. Caius, I am come to fetch you home. I am sworn of the peace. You have shown yourself a wise physician, and Sir Hugh hath shown himself a wise and patient churchman. <laughs> you must go with me, Master Doctor. And here's a monologue of Malvolio from Twelfth Night. Tis but fortune. All is fortune. Mariah once told me she did affect me. And I have heard herself come thus near that should she fancy, it would be one of my complexion. Besides, she uses me with a more exalted respect than anyone else that follows her. <laughs> what should I think on <laughs> to be Count Malvolio? <laughs> there is example for it. The Lady of the Strachey, Mary, the yeoman of the wardrobe. <sighs> Having been three months married to her, sitting in my state, calling my officers about me in my branched velvet gown, Having come from a daybed where I have left Olivia <laughs> sleeping. And then to have the humor of state. And after a demure travel of regard, telling them I know my place, as I would they should do theirs, to ask for my kinsman, Toby. Seven of my people, with an obedient start, make out for him. <laughs> I frown the while, perchance wind up my watch, or play with my some rich jewel. Toby approaches, curtsies there to me. Mm. I extend my hand to him, thus quenching my familiar smile with an austere regard of control, saying, Cousin Toby, my fortunes having cast me on your knees, <laughs> give me this prerogative of speech. You must amend your drunkenness. <laughs> Besides, you waste the treasure of your time with a foolish knight. <laughs> One Sir Andrew. <laughs> what employment have we here? 